Now wait a second. There are things that you need to do before you continue watching this video. You know that. I'm waiting. Oh, whatever. Let me tell you right away. This is one of the most important terrain mixer updates because now you can generate amazing terrains a lot easier with a lot more details in both terrain mixer and terrain mixer GN. Let's see how this is possible. As you already know, terrain mixer relies on various sliders, which is great for mixing different inputs. It really feels like waving a magic wand. Of course, there are also tools that you can control from inside the scene. Mask Geo Curve is a great example. Here's the breaking news. Now you can also move mountains and other terrain types inside the 3D viewport, on top of the terrain that you have previously mixed, which brings a whole new level of complexity and awesomeness. Yes, you could do that same operation before this update, but only with sliders. As already mentioned, this is true for both Terrain Mixer and Terrain Mixer GN. Just watch this short time lapse, I'll try to keep my mouth shut. Sorry, I can't keep quiet for long. How cool is that? And that's not all. You will find some new height inputs inside the package. Why is this even news? They're at 16K. Yep, huge. Just imagine what you can do with such resolution. If you can't imagine it, let me know and I'll make some new videos that will inspire you. Now we're done. Cheers.